getting ready for your third bowl game in mm -hmm. three years. Mm -hmm. And but this is the longest time you've had to prepare. Before Hawaii, you didn't get a 10-day break. Before Armed Forces last year, you didn't get a 10-day break. Where are you and the staff in terms of the preparation? Have you already digested all of the pit film, or is that an ongoing process that will continue right up till game day? Well, we, we have done uh, quite a bit of that, and, and probably as much as we will need to do. But the reality is that we will keep watching and keep watching and keep watching because things come up, you start to see things, and that maybe you didn't see before, you know. So, you you we will continue to watch, but but we're farther along in the preparation than we normally are because this is the farthest bull back that we've ever been involved in. So, this is quite a quite a long time between your last game and the bull game. Is it good to have that extra time, or is it almost frustrating and chomping at the bit like you want to get to game day sooner? I think the way we'll probably approach it is that. Um, and, and we always felt this uh, in Hawaii as well. We're beginning. I think people are seeing it here now that we're starting to be fortunate enough to go to bowl games in consecutive years. Is the 15 days that you get is like having a second spring practice. So you're, you're, it's going to be beneficial whether it's early, late, middle. It is always going to be beneficial to have those 15 days. Now with this, the 10 days off, there was there was a little rust out there today, but that's to be expected, and it'll come off. And actually, from snap one to snap 45, it was already starting to come off. You could see them starting to see things better and get it out quicker. And, you know, they kind of know a little bit better what they were doing. We were a little tripping around a little bit the first, the first part of the practice there a little bit. But uh, it, it, it comes back. And uh, they, they were fine by the end of this first practice. When you start looking at Pitt on film, is there anything sort of surprising that, that, that you didn't know about? Or do they run? schemes that you've seen elements of in all the teams that you've played throughout the season? Is there anything really unique about this defense? Well, I, I think it has a lot to do with what their their backgrounds are and their their background being Tulsa. You know, we, we are, they're, they're much like what Tulsa was. And um, they they have very good personnel. They're, they really have some good players on their, on their defense. And, uh, uh, but schematically, there are things that they do that we have seen other people do, and there's things that they do that are unique to them. But that is pretty much every week, you know, that when you're preparing. It, there's there's going to be some things in there that are a little different that are the the uh, signature of the defensive coordinator and the head coach of that particular place. So uh, they'll be a little different, but they'll also have a lot of Tulsa to them that, that we'll see. You know, that's, that's their background. They're – Interim head coach um, Keith Patterson came with Coach Graham from Tulsa, like you said. Mm -hmm. He was their defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. Does he have something of an advantage? Because while you, the coaches on your staff and their staff, know each other at least professionally, he knows your personnel from having coached against you for a couple of years. Right. He didn't face JJ McDermott, but he knows the schemes you like to run, and he knows your receivers and your linemen. Mm -hmm. Does he almost have an advantage because he knows what your players can do more than you know his? Well, I think over the amount of time that we have to prepare, that that's mitigated to a certain degree because it's it it kind of washes out because we will get to know their players very well uh, as to who they are and what they are, and we're already beginning to see some you know some of their players and w what they do. Uh, but he, certainly, he has uh, an advantage of what some people that we would play in a bowl game wouldn't have, which they've never seen us before ever, <laughs> and he certainly has and. He's been right in the mix of it with us in both preparing and also on game day. So um, I'm, I'm sure he has some advantages in that regard. And uh, uh, But like I said, if it, if it was a week to prepare, it might be a little bit more of an impact. But I think over the long haul, uh, it's not quite as much of an impact. Uh, but he certainly does know us. That's, there's no question about that. So, How much attention have you paid to the coaching shakeup at Pitt? He's got, I guess, five or six coaches on his staff now. And can you even imagine what it would be like to run a, run practices with half your staff? Well, I, I think he has the elements that they need. You know, he'll, he'll have a, a, an offensive line coach and a defensive line coach, and those will, that, that will take care of that. And then uh, he can take care of the back end, and then the, uh, the, the coach Dodge will probably take care of the, the perimeter and the offense. And really, if you're doing what they've been doing all year, that that shouldn't impact them a great deal. I think they they'll be fine with that. And then they have a special teams coach, so they're covered. You know, they they're they're really not. There isn't a hole in there that would be 
that they'd be, oh my goodness, we're in trouble. <laughs> you know, I, I think they're covered very well. And I, I mean, I think they'll be fine. And uh, it'll be an uh, interesting experience for them and probably a really great experience for them as coaches to, to really get their feet into everything and, and go because they're the guys. So uh, I, I, I've watched it a little bit, but um, not a great deal. I, I, I looked at their website one day and saw a number of pictures gone. So <laughs> I assumed they, they were gone. So, uh, I, but I think based on what I saw, they, they're, they're, they're fine shape. They're, they'll take care of it very well. Does that add an extra sense of urgency to you or your staff or your team mm -hmm. that we can't lose to a team that's only got half a coaching staff? No, I think you always got to take care of yourself. And, and you can't spend much time uh, either worrying about or being excited about what, what's happening on the other side of the ball. We have to stay focused with what we are and, and our preparations and our kids' frame of mind and you know the, the limiting the mistakes on our side. That's the only way that you, no matter who you're playing or how well staffed they are or how well prepared or ill prepared they are, it always comes down to just taking care of yourself. So we, we have to entirely focus on just us and uh, we can't get, a lot. at least in our position, we can't get too caught up on what's going on on the other side.